Hello. Hello and welcome to my portion of the Spring Craft-a-thon. My name is Tammy Neff and you are following me on Tammy Loves Vintage right now. And um, I have a couple of projects I'm gonna try and squeak out for you guys. Um, first of all, um, I'm not sure which way to go first. Uh, first of all, I think what I'm gonna do is these little nests. Um, that I made. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna show you how I started this nest. I'm gonna put I put you down there so you can see. Um, I took a piece of aluminum foil, and I just really started forming the circle for the the um, the little nest. Now you can make it bigger or smaller, whatever, you know, whatever you want. I just kind of want just a small one. Um, and there are so many ways. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry. There's so many ways to make these nests. And um, all you're going to need is Spanish moss and some hot glue. So um, I... I made a small one here that I've already started, but I'm gonna finish it with you. And then I made a larger one. The small one fit in the palm of my hand, just like this one, okay? And then the larger one was bigger. I like had to open my hand and it cupped inside of my hand. But you see, I covered the top and the bottom. So I just thought I would show you that real quick that you could make a large one or a small one, it doesn't matter. You just make whatever size you know, you need for your, um, for your decor. And then literally I just am using Spanish moss and I am literally just gluing it down. I'm just holding it and gluing it. And then as I would see a little shimmer, um, I would use the little puddle here that I have and just, I would just like scoop it up and add some hot glue. Like right here, I see a little bit of shine from the foil. So then I just, I just fill it in and eventually you're going to get it completely covered. I was using my scissors to snip it as needed. And I believe I am good to go except just this little half here. So I'm going to fill it with some um, glue, just some hot glue here. Um, I'd love to take just a second and thank Melanie for inviting me to be part of another um, craft-a-thon. I have enjoyed all of them and I know she's doing something different this year so this will be um, fun to see how it all works out. So uh, okay now I don't want it too big okay because I have I have my main project here that I'm gonna do with you guys, and I know exactly, you know, about the size, pretty much, uh, what I want it to be here. So let's just call this one done. Let me trim it up just a little bit. I just don't want it too crazy, but you guys, you know, you can add sticks, you can do whatever. I'm just showing you the base of a nest. So let's clean this up a bit here and we're going to get on with the next part here let me just put this in this bag and that'll be good enough all right so i'm going to set that aside we're finished with the spanish moss then what i thought we would do is maybe take some old pearls i have a bag with a bunch of pearls um some pearl necklaces and what have you in here and i thought it might be fun um, in keeping with the vintage, you know, again, my page is Tammy Loves Vintage, and it is very true. I love all things vintage, and I love to maybe do a little bit of unexpected. And I think having a pearl necklace in your, um, in your <laughs> nest is a little unexpected for sure. So we're going to finish that off, my two ends, okay? And then I have just some different pieces, different sizes, <coughs> different colors of pearls. Okay, so I'm going to add this pearl. <clears throat> I'm 
I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to get over a cold. Okay. And let's just tack that down right there. Okay. So now we have our nest. I'm not going to use any of this. So now we have a little nest here and I'm going to put it aside and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to decorate a dough bowl when we're all done, but I'm trying to come up with some unique things to use uh, in the meantime for the bowl. So, um, okay, let me see here. Next thing you're going to need is some roses. Uh, I picked these up at Walmart. Um, it just, it's by Mainstays. Um, I can tell you that um, I had kind of forgotten about the color of the roses. The red is fine. It's a little bit harder. The red is a little bit harder to, um, to hide the red, although I'll give you all of the tips on that here in just a second. So we're done with the hot glue. Um, so now what we have, I have some mortar mix. I have white uh, mortar mix. And I used um, a half a cup of water with one cup of white mortar mix. Now, you can find this um, at, uh, where did I get mine? Home Depot is where I got mine. And then what you're gonna do is just use a disposable chip brush. And I am literally, oh wait, there's one thing I wanted to do. I did, oh, I cut them all off, but two. And you'll wanna cut this, um, you'll wanna cut these little backs of your roses off. Only because I can tell you that the mortar mix doesn't stick. Uh, and then you're literally going to work it in. Now this is messy. I can promise you that <laughs> it's kind of messy. Um, but I used a half a cup of mortar mix and I did use the white. So it's what you would use for tile. Um, you know that they make it in the gray, of course, and you can get black. Um, and I would tell you that you just, you used um, the half a cup of water to one cup mortar mix, half cup of water, one cup mortar mix. And what we're gonna do is make some plaster looking roses that will um, be able to be outside in your decor, on your porch, um, on a little end table or in a dough bowl or an old toolbox or something like that. And the elements will not hurt it at all. Once this dries and cures out, you'll be good to go. So um, you just keep kind of separating the petals as I'm doing here, and then you're gonna close them up and continue painting, you know, painting it on. Then um, we're gonna hang it to dry, and I'm gonna show you how they turn out. Now, um, the red roses, I found you could kind of see through the red just a little bit. So I used some white, paint, put a little bit of a cream color in it so that it wasn't pure white and you cannot find the red anymore. If you use a white rose or like a, you know, a yellowy creamy rose with the pink centers, um, I saw some of those, you could use those as well and you will not see the color of the rose. But I, um, I had forgotten that little tip when I went to Walmart to pick up my roses for this project. So um, I'm going ahead with the red, but I would advise you if, you know, if you don't want the red to show, I would just get a different color altogether. All right, now that I have it pretty well uh, plopped in here, oh, there's some that I've missed. Uh, I'm kind of, kind of massage it around with my fingers and make sure that it's thoroughly covered. Uh, as best as I can anyway. Oops, I took it off my shirt. Okay, so I also can tell you that the stem and the leaves did not um, stay, the um, mortar mix did not stay adhered to the stem and the leaves very well. So that didn't work out <laughs> to my advantage. Um, I did these probably two years ago in my creative group. 
Um, it's called Tammy's Making. And so I have loved mine for quite a while. And when Melanie approached me about doing this spring um, craft-a-thon, I thought, well, they, I'm going to show them people how to do this because you guys might like this for your um, spring porch decor. Or you can use them inside. I mean, I have them inside right now. I pack them away with my summer decor. Uh, okay, so knowing that when I first made these, I used the um, leaves. I covered the leaves. They did pretty good, but I, you know, I like it to be good, not pretty good. So I have over time snipped my leaves off and thrown them away because it just does not seem to adhere very well to the leaves. Okay, so I think, I'm thinking, <coughs> I think we're pretty good here. You can see you just get down in there. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, so then what you're gonna do, I left the leaf attached. You can see there's my uh, flower. And then I'm gonna pull this off. So it's not, to, oh, there, my leaf. <coughs> so it's not to make too much of a mess. And then I'm going to hang it. Well, I was going to hang it off of my leaf, but my leaf fell off. So I'll have to, um, I'll have to wire it or get some string, but you're just going to let it hang down inside of your uh, bag. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. Silly. And then, uh, hang on a minute. Let me just grab a, <laughs> grab a sip here. Mm. Okay, then let me show you what your roses are going to look like when we're all done here. And in the meantime, I've got a second one to do. I'm going to, um, I'll tie some string to catch here where the leaf was. There's just that little lip and I will be able to tie it and let it hang. And you can see the red through it, but I promise you when you paint it out, you can if you want, you don't, if you like that little hint of red then you don't necessarily need to. But this is what you're gonna end up with. And I think they're fantastic. So this has been outside um, probably two years now. And it's really good. I think it's really good. So I did try different sorts of roses. So I have different sizes. And you can see, um, they're, I mean, they're hard. They're very hard. Now, let me show you. When I tell you that it doesn't want to stick well, this is what you end up with. This is why I just cut those off because I don't want to, I don't, I don't like seeing that. Even though they're like behind, um, I just don't like seeing that at all. So here's one of those blush colored roses. And then I even did one of the roses that I bought had the little bud. And I thought that was really sweet. So, okay, now we're going to um, take a dough bowl because I want to show you how you can display these in your house. So you're going to take a dough bowl or any, I mean, a silver tray, um, a big book, Anything like that that you have. Okay, then you've got your cute little nest here. As you can see, the nest turned out super cute. And then I'm just going to add in some of my roses. Like this, okay? And I just think it's a really, um, it's a really unique display. There you go. So I don't know. Um, I don't know if I could show you um, about the painting part. So here is just a little bit. If you look in here, there's a little bit of red there. You can barely see it. Um, and then 
yeah, like right here, there. You can see a little bit of the red, but I have pretty much been able to get all of the red covered with paint. And then um, down inside of this one, you may be able to make out a little bit of that sort of pinkish, yellowish color. So um, I just really didn't mess with painting since it was the back of it. I didn't mess with it when I chipped off the little, um, the little, um, I don't even know what they are, but where the bud part opens up when I chipped that off, that's how I got the pink. <coughs> Excuse me. And then luckily, this little bit of this bud has stayed stuck. And so I haven't lost it. I don't know why, but we're not going to talk. We're not going <laughs> to, we're not going to be sad about it for sure. So anyway, then you just put your little um, roses in and i like I said, I just added that just to be something a little bit different. And um, I felt like, you know, like the larger one was way too big. So I started and made another one. Um, but I think it's beautiful. And I think that as long as your container can go outside, your roses can definitely go outside. <coughs> and I think that you'll be happy with your project. Again, I used mortar mix. Um, I used the white and I used a half a cup of water with one cup of mortar mix. I just stirred it into a container like this. And I can also tell you that when you're, when you're cleaning up, you'll wanna do it outside with a garden hose because this literally is mortar and it will, um, it'll probably damage your drains, I would say. So that's why I wore gloves, um, but it's, you can wash it off until it, you know, until it gets hard, till it's hardest point. So I think it's gonna be really pretty. Again, I'll have to paint it. Um, and you can add a little more water or a little more mortar mix, uh, depending on, you know, your humidity and all of that. I think looking at it now, I wished I would have added just a little bit more mortar mix, but um, I didn't know till I got started. <laughs> I didn't want to start without you guys. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my part of the Spring Craft-a-thon. It is the plaster roses that you use white mortar mix and water and then Spanish moss, aluminum foil, and some pearls to make a little nest. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, just put them in the comments, or you can follow my page called Tammy Loves Vintage and send me a message, and I'll be happy to help you um, whatever I can do. So thank you, Melanie, for having me. I'm sorry for my, for my cough and cold here. Um, hopefully it wasn't too annoying and distracting for you guys. I did my best. So have a wonderful day and I appreciate you watching. And thanks again, Melanie, for inviting me to be part of the 2022 Spring Craft-a-thon. Bye-bye.